Warning, this game contains adult content. You must be 18 years or older to play. May depict sexual activities or fetishes that are dangerous and or disturbing. Please educate yourself how to practice sex safely. A PSA from Ooh. Two Gays Who Play. Any funny commentary that you want to add to that? Other than we don't follow that rule? I mean... Uh, well... Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything for that. It's a PSA. It's like... Try to make it funny, we'll kill you. Yep. They have a preference for condoms. We're turning that off, right? Okay, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> bear in mind that uh, that will have to be censored out with something. It might just be my face coming to get you all. Yes, it'll be a Garfield. Hello everyone, welcome to Coming Out on Top with me and Andrew! Hello! Oh wow, I went really high there. Hello! What the Hello! Fuck I'm Mary Poppins now! Thank you! <laughs> We're playing a gay yaoi game! I'm Mary Poppins! Let's see what this does! I mean, I think it's technically called a barrow game. Oh yeah, you're right, because it's, um, men's love. Mm-hmm. Uh, coming out on top is a gay dating sim, a bear game. Basically, if you don't want the sex, you can skip the sex parts. I'll probably give, like, time stamps for when the actual stuff is happening uh, to avoid it. Or if you just want it or, or later. Or if that's all you want to watch. Yeah, bear in mind, again, that will be censored. So if you really want it, get, get the game yourself. Yep. It's a fun game anyway. You have... Jed, Brad, Phil, Alex, and Amos. Bear in mind that I have seen this game before. Andrew has not, though. So this no, is I have not. This is going to be my re-reaction because it's been a while since I've seen the endings. Uh, I remember how much I liked them and some of the story elements. It'll probably come back more to me as time goes on. His, how much it reaffirmed his gayness. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let's just start and get right into it. Um, so jump to game because we already know the instructions. Hi, Mark Matthews. That's the default name for this guy, the main character. Or would you rather be called something else? I don't like the name Mark. Mark reminds me of that neighborhood kid who used to play cat poop in my head. <laughs> By the way, they're the otters, and I have to say, this guy is very much an otter. So what should we call this bloke? Um, Guy Drew. I'd rather not have our ship name be a uh, guy who's uh, doing all the sexy things. James. Okay, let's go with James. Not Matthews. I have a last name. Wow. Or would you rather... Oh my god. I was going for like normal. I was going for like just a name. You were like, no, we're going straight up sex. For the last name anyway. Okay, let's just go with it. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> James, you are a senior at Heartland University. <laughs> it's been quite a ride, yet you feel like you've been missing out. In fact, you feel like you've faked your way through the last three and a half years of your life. You don't want to go through the motions anymore. You want to stop pretending. Now, if your palms would just stop sweating. Okay, James, you lecture yourself. I'm trying to think, how much should you voice? Um, I guess I was going to say, I can do narration and lines that James says, and then you do all the other characters. Yeah. You do every single other character? Oh, God. Bear all in right. mind, I'm the one that's going to be probably talking the most. Yeah, all right. I'll do my best to try and give different voices. Warning, I probably won't do that well. Even if you just have three or four tones of voices that you have, it's still better than nothing. You're not a kid anymore. Your last semester yeah. of college starts tomorrow. You gave yourself a deadline, and you're sticking to it, damn it. Everything's going to be just fine. Remember, whatever happens, try not to throw up. At least not on the carpet. 
It's Shag, a horror to clean. Ugh. Yeah. No oh my, the... <laughs> this is a very much a typical college dorm, like, there is a plate with chopsticks and some leftover Chinese, like, a mug with a tea bag in it, and pillows strewn everywhere, a blanket just haphazardly slopped there, and then a little portfolio with a page torn out. I mean, if this doesn't scream college dorm, I don't know what does, especially because this is sparsely, very sparsely, sparsely decorated. You call your roommates Penny and Ian into the living room. <laughs> so what's the big news, James? You're going to tell me what a fantastic roommate I am and how you'd like to take over my dish duties this week. Respectable Ian voice. Okay. Well, er... Get a grip. You can do this. Uh, so you guys aren't just my roommates, but my best friends. We've shared everything together. Hopes, fears, dreams, playlists... Toothbrushes. It was an accident, I swear. <laughs> you say that almost every morning, Ian. Oh my god. So, Ian the Cheapskake. Who doesn't even have a toothbrush. Guys. Sorry. Go on, James. Obviously you've got something important to say. What's up? You look nervous, dude. Their stares penetrate you. Ew. You clear your throat. Sweat beads across your forehead. Given you're my most loyal, trustworthy friends, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Options. I'm gay. I'm gay. High five. Uh, just a reminder, if you use up the last of the toilet paper, be responsible and replace it with another roll. If and... Mean, boom. High five. Okay. Good one. Now, what did you really want to tell us? That I'm gay. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not joking. And the music stops. <laughs> ellipses. Um, guys. Ellipses. I've just let you in on the biggest announcement of my life. How about a little reassurance? <laughs> Jesus, one on his forehead. I know. Ellipses. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. The fact that her mouth is not open when she's saying that just makes me think, what is this emotionless human that's in front of me? It's a really good ventriloquist. James! This is major! Wow, 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 wow! Oh boy, we have a fangirl. Now I know why you've been ignoring all those girls busting down your bedroom door. Oh, boy. Oh, God, Penny. Just because James won't date your weirdo cousin. My cousin is not a weirdo. She carries around her own <laughs> spork and won't eat without it. That's seven leagues deep into weirdo territory. <laughs> That's not deep into weirdo territory. That's quirky and cute. What is this voice? Oh, brother. Anyway, I do have another cousin you might be interested James interested in James, named Filbert of the male persuasion. Jeez, Penny, quit pawing off your freaky family tree on him. Look, I'm just excited, okay? Fag hag alert, fag hag alert, fag hag alert. You kinda of did look like my best friend. Oh my. James, I'm really happy you told us. Good for you. We can talk about my cousin later. Oh my god. Do you have anything to say to me, Ian? Well, oh Jesus. <laughs> hey, now I get to read this. Well, butt Pluggington, I for one am disappointed. I was really, really hoping you were going to announce that you'd be doing the dishes. <laughs> But about being gay, seriously, good for you, man. I feel privileged you shared this with us. That took a lot of guts. So, uh, what's it like to finally be out, dude? It's good. No, actually, it feels great. It's like, well, my life can finally get started, you know? 
It's hard to explain, but I feel like my life has been somebody else's. A few tears begin to cloud your vision, but you quickly bring, blink them back. I feel like this is about the most emotional that James will ever get. <laughs> Aww. Oh, no. We're so happy for you, James. As I keep playing this, my voice for Penny is going to get higher and higher, and my voice for Ian's going to get lower and lower. This is going to be about uh, like a child voice actor trying to voice a character as he ages up. Case in point, Steven Universe. Interviews with Zach over the years, his voice just gets lower and lower. His <laughs> voice for Steven has gone way through the roof. Penny and Ian wrap you in a hug. This went better than you thought it would. The weight of your long-kept secret falls from your shoulders and you feel a lightness. You want to laugh and to weep. But mostly, you feel a beautiful sense of relief. Things really couldn't have gone better. James, we should commemorate your big day! What is oh boy. this voice? Shut up. Hang on a sec. Flash. What was that for? As I blink away the pulses of light in my frickin' eyes. I'm taking a photo of you for my tanning spray app. It's my latest project. It takes your photo and gives you a totally awesome tan. See? <laughs> oh my god. I swear, once they get all the bugs out, I'm gonna sell a million units. You gotta help me beta test this. Penny, I didn't think it was possible, but you might have just surpassed your last app in idiocy. What happened to that last project of yours? Campus Mapper, was it? Wasn't it supposed to help students find their classes, but for some reason people kept walking right into traffic? Oh dear god, I forgot about this part. <laughs> it had a couple of pesky bugs. Nothing major. I remember you were testing it the day we met. If you hadn't yelled, watch out, I would have stepped right into an open drain. Yeah, oh, Campus Mapper kind of was meant to lead to people to their death. <laughs> and what? landed on the bodies of your beta testers. Dear God. Shut your pie, holy, and Campus Mapper is still in alpha, and I'm going to be a millionaire once Tanning Spray is released. Mm-hmm. And who will you be? The guy who cleans the monkey cage at the zoo. Trying to be rude. Uh... Look here, Ignoramus, being a zoologist means more than just cleaning cages. I also get to... Get to... I feel like he's going somewhere with this. Oh wait, no, that's about it. Nope, I didn't think so. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, here's the plan, James. Time to celebrate. Let's head to Charlie's. I feel Please bad no because you're reading a lot. Okay, maybe in the future I do take a couple of the voices, but you do have good Penny and Penny and Ian voices, so. Of course. Sorry. So I'll do those, and I'll maybe take one or two of the men. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Er, Charlie's. It's the only gay bar in this area. As Which it's later she's determined. Still going through puberty, or she's going still going through puberty. No oh boy. Uh. As it's later determined, Orland is actually a pretty big city. We will be able to see its skyline in a um, one of the Brofinder dates, a thing that we will get to later. Orland's a big city. Again, it has its own university campus, so this is not supposed... And apparently supposed... it's the only gay bar in this area? Yeah, that's my entire thought. Like, I would think there would be at least two. Jesus, Penny. Do you realize it's been like a couple of seconds since James came out? Seconds. Ugh. Oh. God, doing Penny's gonna be thrilling. Oh boy. Oh, relax. It'll be fun. Besides, there's something I gotta check out there. Ian, why did you join us? Nah, I gotta head over to Zoe's. Her again? I can never tell when you two are together. How many times have you broken up now? Oh, uh, yeah, well, we're about to have the talk. Here's hoping she dumps me before I have to help her move into her new place. 
That's such a relationship goals, apparently, in this game. Nope. You know, you call me crazy, but you could always be an adult and break it off first. What? No. People would totally think I was dumping her just to avoid helping her move. I mean, I guess. You're kind of intentionally making her break up with you so that you don't have to help her move. Basically. Isn't that kind of obvious? I think so. And he's surprisingly muscular for some guy who wants to be super fucking lazy. Sometimes the stupid lazy ones just get lucky. Mm -hmm. What was I thinking? Me and my wacky suggestions. Penny's face. I prefer, I prefer Anima's voice. That was funnier. Anyhow, oh, wow, I was about to do Penny voice. Anyhow, sorry to bail, man, but we're hanging out next. But we are so hanging out next weekend tonight. You have fun with Little Miss Zuckerberg here. Goodbye, Ian. God, what am I doing with my Goodbye, life? Goodbye, Ian. Maybe I should do the Penny voice. No, I don't want you to have to do more voices than you need. All right. Maybe I just won't go. With, maybe I just won't go that high with the voice anymore. Yeah. Just so that you can put so, in the good exaggeration and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. Let me so, quick. Oh, I mean Abby. to go to the options, not <laughs> because. Just so that I can have the music. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Outing. I slain. Oh. <laughs> Outing. <laughs> I'm so like. I can't believe we're doing this. I'm excited, but I can't believe we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, for the viewers at home, uh, bear in mind that there's a slight delay between the screen uh, screen shares, so. Yeah, but, but we can make I mean, do. At least we're able to do this. Yeah, at least we're able to do this. Mm hmm. I'll be designated driver. Just a relaxing little evening at a new bar. No pressure. It'll be fun. Frankly, you do want to celebrate tonight. But it all seems so sudden. Are you ready for your first gay bar? Come on, James. It's not like we've even got homework yet. What else are you going to do? Kick it with your goldfish? He's got a name, Penny. Oh, <laughs> Slurpee. Nope. No. Um, what should we name the goldfish? Tummy. Okay, okay, why not? Cummy! Let me just write that down. Why? For remembering it later. <laughs> well, I'm sure Cummy will be okay for one night. Oh, I mean, you like said that. it as a joke, but uh, kind of solidified it. <laughs> yep. I mean, fuck, if his last name is Butt Pluggington, I should have expected Cummy the Goldfish to become something. <laughs> Cummy Blup. Cummy butt plugging to oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, this is this is gonna be fun. Yes it will be. Shall we go? Alright, you drive. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome! What am I doing? <laughs> oh boy. So are you stunned by my admission? Eh, yes and no. You've had your suspicions about me? You talk in your sleep. <laughs> exactly what have you heard? Why aren't you telling me? You see to ha you seem to have a thing for shapely butts, but it's only now I realize it's not the female derriere that you were. You know what? I'm just going to stop talking about this now. <laughs> I mean, I like a good butt. Uh, anyway, so I've got a question. You have a question. Virgin, yes or no? You know, I have dated a couple of girls. Come on, you know what I mean. The D, the Wang, the main vein, the beef bayonet, the steaming semen <laughs> roadway, the schmeckle, <laughs> the... I might have done a thing or two. Wait, oh my god, let me guess. It was a guy from your water polo team, right? Locker room, post-game, <laughs> you hit the showers with oh your teammates. He's soaping himself, but he's struggling because his arm is in a sling. In a sling? Hell, no wonder we had such a bad season. 
So he says, Yo, what up, Bud Pluggington? I can't quite reach this spot, bro. Even reading those weird stories written by teenage girls again happened to you. <laughs> and you say, Which spot, bro? How romantic. And he goes, This spot right here, man. Neath my balls. <laughs> Neath my balls. Oh my god. <laughs> my balls. <laughs> Just God, stop right there. After well, making a few going. errant turns onto one-way streets, Penny parks the car a block away from Charlie's. I wonder if she has made her own GPS app or something. Maybe. Taking a deep breath, you enter the dimly lit bar. Oh my gosh, I love the ambiance. So James, what are you drinking? Let me get you something. Alright, so choices uh, of whiskey straight up, because I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Beer, dark, one. bitter, like my soul. Glass of Cabernet, out of the, for once, not out of a box. A Midori Sour, white Zinfandel, Findol, or milk, white, creamy, like my, um... <laughs> I like that last one. Um, what do you think we should get? Uh, I'll take some... I'm gay. Take a Midori Sour. Penny steps up to the bar. You look around, trying not to rubberneck your way to Dorkhood. Be cool, James. Be cool. This place isn't much different than any of the bars near campus. Sure, the crowd is older. Sure, there might be a few more men here and there. But they're here just to, uh, chill out, right? This is nerve-wracking. In the past, you've always been able to hide under the, under the convenient, if uncomfortable, disguise of, disguise of heterosexuality. I feel like I've experienced this sort of thing before without having to deal with, uh, or at least this part, not the gay bar bit. Not in an actual bar, though. If you wanted to check someone out, you could do it discreetly, and not have to worry about the consequences. This, however, is an entirely new frontier. You sense the weight of several eyes grazing over you. You swear you're being checked out, but you're too terrified to look up and confirm it. You hear, you hear somebody hel yell hey in your dis direction. You glance up and see a guy in the corner staring straight back at you. He waves. How socially awkward do we want to be in this? I mean, if we're basing it on ourselves, we'd probably pick the second one. Yeah... Ah, uh, good old ketchup. I love ketchup. Your best friend through good meals and bad. You suddenly realize that the guy was really waving at someone behind you. Phew, you feel like you dodged a bullet. Um, alright, one celebratory drink coming up. The bartender will have it for you in just a second. I'm going to the restroom. I'll be right back. Maybe it's my chance to make a run for it. And don't you even think about ditching me, James. She gets really evil. What are you even talking about? Already this place is like a second home. <laughs> <laughs> you sit down and wait for your order. The bartender hands you your, you your drink. You sip it nervously. Ah, Something to stare at so I don't have to look up. You peer into your glass, try not to make eye t contact with anybody. Just as you start to unwind and feel like you can breathe again, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Huh, you piss faster than anybody I know. Thanks. And here is not the first guy that we're going to uh, go for, but uh, this is the guy who's first introduced. Oh, thrilling. After years of rigorous training, somebody's finally noticed. <laughs> I'd almost given up. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were somebody else. It's my fault for sneaking up on you. How about we start over? I'm Alex. Can I buy you another drink? Alright. 
Well, since we're not going for him, let's save the... Uh, let's not be rude, but let's say yeah, no thinks I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, that works. Your eyes meet for a second. You shift nervously and try not to be obvious as you look for Penny. <clears throat> so, uh, do you come here often? Oh my god, that's like the oldest line in the book. Oh my. Oh my god, that's third option. I know. <laughs> Actually, no, this is my first time here. It's not bad. Kind of a cool vibe. Not really. This is my first time here. I actually just came out today to my friends. No, I've never, or, never been no, here before. I've never been here today before. I just came out today. My friend dragged me here, and she's in the bathroom right now, and I don't know what's taking her so long. And isn't it funny how these things kind of happen, isn't it, huh? Oh, my God. The way you I said that you. is perfect. Thank you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, yeah. Really? You came out today? That's terrific. I'll toast to that. It's been a little overwhelming. I bet. But, you know, you seem to be handling it just fine. I'll always remember coming out as both the most difficult and rewarding thing I've ever done. Aside from that one time I tried to bathe my cat while shirtless. Sounds like a recipe for disaster. Yes. Actually, now that I think about it, that wasn't rewarding at all. But I digress. Congratulations to you. You must be walking on air right now. Yeah, I feel like my life's already about a hundred times better since this morning. Alex, toast to you. To an authentic life, then. Hmm. I don't remember this route ever being employed in any video that I saw of the first episode people made. Hmm. Oh. There you go. Learn something new. Your eyes linger on each other. It's just for a second, but it's enough to make your heart pound just a little bit faster. Ooh. By the way, I didn't catch your name. <laughs> are we going to go for realism or are we going to go for fakeism? Let's let's go for realism. I think so, yeah. That would be nice. In any case, James, I can't believe I just pulled the do you see I just said this. Uh-huh. I can't believe I just pulled the do you come here often line on here. Like that is the oldest fucking line ever. Yeah. And I'd hate to cut this short, but I have to get up early tomorrow. Maybe we can continue this chat sometime. I'd love to get your number. Oh my. So, give him the number. Give him the number? But like, maybe do it like nervously, like it's, oh, okay, here it is, nervous gulp. Like that way it's like, he's still nervous, but like, he's thinking about it. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, Excellent. I guess. Have a great night, James. <laughs> and congrats again on coming out today. You watch him leave. I don't know. This brief encounter has left you feeling flushed and heady. 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 And needless to say, it's a nice ego boost. Took her forever to get the fuck back. Whoa. I mean, seriously, bitch. Like, come on. Whoa, I took forever, didn't I? Well, you're writing a novel in there. Dude, I was loving that restroom. The <clears throat> this public bathroom app lists it as one of the best restrooms in the city. Five stars from over a hundred. A hundred. A hundred. <laughs> hundred. <laughs> a hundred is how you refer to a hundred gay guys. A hundred. What? A hundred. A flock of gay guys. <laughs> A hundred of gay okay. guys. <laughs> I, don't even know. I don't know. A hundred of gay guys. That's that's that's. If you ever watch, if you ever watch the nature documentaries, that's how they describe them. As we look in the Serengeti, this hundred of gay men hiding over it, waiting for their prey. Oh my god! <laughs> that sounds kind of bad, but okay. I mean, stalking their prey, waiting for the right moment. The elder males always getting the first bite. Oh my. 
Thank you. I think this shit out in my mind. I don't know why. Uh, five stars from over a hundred users. It's a public bathroom and Italian marble counters, Brazilian hardwood floors, and free breath mints. My god, I've never been to a place with free candy in the bathrooms. Just imagine if she went in the male bathrooms. There'd be a couple of holes there, too. <laughs> I was gonna say, you sure that's candy? So, wait, what do you mean? Like, all of a sudden she starts feeling lightheaded? No, she feels like her body is suddenly a lot more numb. Muscle right, relaxers. Like oh, I was saying a roofie. Oh my god. Uh, no. No? Well, either one is bad. Uh, I mean, muscle relaxers are for women on their periods. Oh. I don't know that much about women, dear. I know this because of a couple 80s movies. Oh. I should watch more 80s movies then. I thought I watched a lot of 80s movies. I guess not. Mm. But, um... Again, I'm not exactly in the... My gay ass is not in the mood to learn about women and their periods very much. That's fair. Damn, this place is the real deal. So anything happened while I was gone? Somebody hit on me. Or, uh, not really. I think not really. She doesn't deserve to know. <laughs> well, as long as you're enjoying yourself. Next time, I'll be your wing woman, James. Guys will be just lining up to get a crack at ya. Oh my gosh, that smile of hers. I'm also auditioning for the Joker. Anyway, <laughs> just one more drink? I mean, it is our last semester. Gotta get it off to a good start, right? I think I'm gonna be reading her character and anything that sounds like she would say it as a sexual innuendo, I'm gonna say it as a sexual innuendo. <laughs> okay. This should be fun. <laughs> The fact you came out today, Jesus Christ, I think it's been great so far. Oh, boy. Shut up. You Thank like you, your apartment. Hey, hey, hey. You adorable goofball, you. Back at the apartment, oh, Penny retires to too. her bedroom, eager to get back to coding. Man, you sure are antsy. You have to stop yourself from checking your messages every five minutes. After all, Alex said he was having a busy day tomorrow. Of course he's not going to call tonight. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy to play games. But in the meantime... Damn. You're horny. Your balls feel like they've hit DEFCON 1. DEFCON 1. <laughs> you wow. need to get off. Later that night, as you wash up in the bathroom, you notice something that's rolled its way to the bottom of the sink. You pick it up. A tube of lube. It's probably Ian's. Borrow his lube just this once, or ew, are you kidding? Leave it here. We're borrowing it. Um, you pick up the tube and return to your bedroom. You collapse onto your bed and examine the tube carefully. Trigger extreme. High-end oh lubricant for solo and mutual pleasure. Ooh. Long-lasting, moisturizing, pH balanced, safe and effective. Nine Ooh. out of ten customers agree. It's like the good lord returned my foreskin. What does the one customer say? Like, just, no, it burns everything. <laughs> For a tasty dressing, what? add to salad with a splash of vinegar, more recipes on back. Okay. That's strange. Let's take this yes. for a test drive, shall we? Oh boy, here it comes. Okay. You squeeze some lube onto into your palm and start sliding it up and down your thing thing yes wow ellipses holy shit ellipses More ellipses. and there are sounds that you cannot hear because this is a screen okay. share but i kind of wish i was hearing a fog of lust overwhelms you <laughs> oh, God. oh no the phone just get uh, a text alert. Ellipses. Check her phone or ignore it. I have a feeling it's going to be Alex, so it's up to you. Um, let's check it. Fine. You nearly fell out of bed as you seize your phone. Damn it, false alarm. Yo, James, latest version of tanning spray turns nipples blue. <laughs> Would you call this a bug or a feature? Jesus you saw all this beta testing is starting to wear thin. Tell her it's a bug, tell her it's a feature, don't text her anything. 
You pretend you were sleeping. She'll figure it out. Back to work. Ellipses and the sounds of resume. Oh. The lube works its velvety magic. Within seconds, you're ready to make Cool Whip. You're cut short as voices erupt from Penny's room. God, how many times have I told you to knock? Sorry, but have you seen my lube? I must have lost the bottle yesterday when I got trashed. Will you stop leaving that shit in the... Uh, oh, was I not supposed to say that? No, it's okay. Okay. Will you stop leaving that shit in the open? I almost grabbed your sex sleeve this morning instead of the game controller. Oh, gosh. Hey, relax. We're all adults here. Self-pleasure shouldn't be an act of shame. This is not about your right to masturbate. You're gonna just tell you to hide that stuff. It's gross. Okay, enough said. Well? Well what? Have you seen my lube? <laughs> For oh God's my gosh. sake, well, I hope I never do. And don't forget to knock next time. God, I feel like she was doing something too. Oh no, you hear footsteps approach. Well, it oh no. said that she was gonna be coding. Oh right, never mind. You hear footsteps approach. Oh no. Dude you, awake. Dude, you awake? Oh boy. I can't find my lube. Have you seen it? You stare at the door. You stare at the bottle of lube on your mattress. You stare at your winky in your hand. Return or hide the lube. You open the door. Um, okay. Sorry, man, I can't seem to find my... You hand in his lube. Ellipses. You say nothing as you close the door. <laughs> oh god, that's horrible. Monday! In the morning, you and Ian walk to campus together. Neither of you feel a need to comment on last night's incident. After a restless night in bed, you feel edgy and irritable. How'd it go with Zoe last night? Uh, awful. We're still together. Her move's coming up. I just know I'm gonna be hauling her giant ass and armoire up a flight of stairs. How'd it go with the bar? This guy hit on me, or it went okay, I guess. This guy hit I on know, me. I feel, more, I, say, I feel more comfortable telling him than Penny. Yeah. Uh, no way, really? That's insane. Jeez. I didn't think it was that un... <laughs> I didn't think it was that undateable. No way, James. You know that's not what I meant. It's just that... I mean, you came out last night. It's just happening so fast. I mean, not like it shouldn't happen so fast. Uh, you're perfectly capable of attracting... I mean, you're a good enough looking dude. He's not hitting on you, is he? I mean... <laughs> I think Ian's I mean, just trying to cover his ass so that he doesn't look like a jerk. Oh. Not that I'm, like, checking you out or anything. Like, casual, no homo. <laughs> It's like, I'll oh, fuck you, no homo. <laughs> Not that it's wrong to check out other guys. Like, firstly, I'd take Just Ian over the other Just forget it, Ian, Jesus. Oh my God. I would take Ian over the other guys. I mean... I mean, you've already used his lube. It's pretty much like you fucked. <laughs> Wait, come on, man. Well, it's true. I'm complimenting you here. I'm just trying to say... Hell, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just kiss me already. <laughs> oh, no, that's not the next line. I guess I'm just floored is all. I mean... Oh, let's just leave it. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be aye. a fun series. This will be. I'm more than excited. No! Um, not that, you know, being gay is a big deal or anything. I mean, wait, I'm not saying it's trivial, but... You rub your eyes and sigh. Look, I'm sort of in a state today, Ian. I'm sorry I didn't mean to snap at you, or do me a favor, Ian, just stop be talking. Be nice. Be, be nice. Yeah. It's okay, bud. I appreciate the apology. I just need to catch up on my sleep. I hear you, James. Whenever I want to fall asleep, I just ask Penny about her latest project. Oh, boy. Rude. Bam! Out like a light. 
I mean, to be completely fair, us software developers love to talk about the specifics of our coding. Luckily, you would never put me to sleep, babe. Aww. Well, there's my building. Enjoy anatomy. I feel like if I make my voice any lower or slower, I could be Barney. <laughs> I know you'll ace the intro course. Well, I'm just saying, like, think about it. I love you. You love me. <laughs> oh my gosh. But if you need any help, I've still got my notes from freshman year. Wait a second, didn't you barely pass that class? I got a C plus. Newsflash, that's passing plus a side order of awesome. He's I'm gonna like, say that's one and a half me. times usual passing. Or... Yeah, there you go. It depends upon the class, really. Yeah. I got a C plus in chorus. I'm so amazing. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. Ooh, so Mr. Rhodes P. Skull is too good for my secondhand notes. Why did I turn New York? Look at me. I'm James Butt Pluggington. My GPA is over 2.0. I'm somebody special. Oh, God. What is Bear in mind that a GPA of 2.0 is the minimum to stay in most colleges. Well, oh, thank God. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, no. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. While I may not be a member of the intellectual elite... Ian, I'm an English tutor. I help ESL students conjugate verbs. I'm not ashamed of being a salt-of-the-earth American. See these hands? Calloused and rough from years of honest physical labor, otherwise known as masturbation. <laughs> You're a part-time barista. You know what burns more than hot coffee? The scalding words of a privilege to working class is. Privilege also known as a lot of student loans. Later, Ian. You head to your class. I think that's where we will stop this episode because I think we've been recording for 50 minutes. Oh my, we have a lot to somewhat cut down. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do leave a like if you did. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So this is Guy Smith. And Andrew B. Signing off. Until next time, take care. We'll see you guys around. Bye! Bye!